three things to master in forex trading three things to master in forex trading i have really emphasized and think this is part three <laughs> let me write it part three so if you have not been watching this series of this episode you're missing out do you know if you can know the three things you are good to go even if you put all your effort on entry that's the first thing that is the first video that i released and then you put more effort on the target and then now is the exit hey let me first tell you guys if they are if there's something that really cools people down in in in, uh, in terms of forex trading is the exit majority of people don't know how to exit even for myself i'm a culprit i'm still learning like do you know how the market can give you warnings it gives you warnings red flags how do you exit because a good strategy will always have an exit and that's why you will find in my in my the 10 strategies two strategies there are for exit so um uh i remember some time back i had i think five strategy or four strategies but i didn't have an exit so i would teach my students do this do that entry target but you see no strategy is 100 percent accurate sometimes a strategy will reach a place and it is not accurate and it backfires so how will you know that this strategy has backfired how will you even tell so for me i've come to realize that as much as entry is important as much as target is important even entry is as important as the two of the of the things so we need uh, we need first to 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 have a, a a recap when we talk of entry because there's someone who is clicking this video for the first time even they don't know me hi my name is Esther Murphy I'm a forex trader I'm a forex trainer and by the way guys the reason why I have put this number on the screen is because of majority of scams that are out there majority of people are being scammed by people impersonating to be me so if you want any of my services I only do training I don't trade for people I don't do investment I don't do any bitcoin related stuff and my course is 12 modules it is recorded it has 10 profitable strategies that is a thousand dollars and i keep telling people a thousand dollars is not much if you divide a thousand dollars time divide by 10 is a hundred dollar per, per per strategy it's just that i can't sell one strategy because strategies are intertwined you will be left hanging so my strategies are are um they are interconnected so the all the 10 strategies that's why i chose to charge a thousand dollars another thing if you buy this course or you come to my physical class in Kenya, if you're international students, you're most welcome, by the way. I've had students coming all over the country. And yeah, if you're an international student and you want to come to Kenya, you're most welcome. The next class is on September date 9. Every month I hold physical classes. But if you want to buy the course now, you can just WhatsApp me through this number, no other number. And I have done this intentionally. I'm tired of solving cases of scammers, people impersonating me. So be warned that I am not that person who comes to comment and tell you Bitcoin stuff, investment. No, I'm not that person. So to continue with what we are learning today is about the three things to master. Entry, target, and exit. Entry, you look for a very good strategy. And you have seen in the previous videos, I have shown you how to, to use strategies like OPT, strategies like patterns. There are some people who will prefer moving average. There are people who will prefer uh, indicators like ATR indicators or, or which are Fibonacci. There are so many things. Other will, will, will use a strategy of pure price action. So entry, you have to get a strategy and a strategy you have to be guided by the time frame so in this case we are using daily time frame because i told you you can either use four hour or daily the strategy that is more accurate use four hour daily it won't have a lot of that imagine having a strategy that you need to go to 15 minutes five minutes if you're a scalper that is okay but if you have a job or you have other commitments how often will you be checking your chart after five minutes, 15 minutes? It's a tiresome. It's so tiresome. 
So I don't really encourage, if you're not a scalper, if you're a scalper, fine. You can even go to one minute, to make your money, close the charts, and you're good to go. But if you are looking this as a side hustle, as a, as a, you are looking it as a, a next in uh, income, maybe you have a hustle somewhere, you can't be a scalper. Scalper, you will always be on your charts. So we have talked of entry, and entry is the strategy. The target, the strategy that you use is de determined by uh, the strategy that you use determines where you will target. Someone who is using ICT order block, there are people who uses order block. So if they start to sell, they will come and use order block. There's someone who will use the next support zone. There's someone who will use moving average as the next target. So different people have different way, different strategies have different targets. Now let's come to exit. Any strategy that you want to do, by the time you're telling yourself, buy, sell. If I tell myself buy right now or sell right now, if I say buy or sell, number one, I need to know my entry, my target, and later my exit. So let's start from this chart. So this video, I, I don't think it will be long because it is direct to the point. So we have this, this trade. We open the chart on, on uh, for on the daily and what i can spot is this uh support so i have this support and you know me i love support that has been tested twice because it makes a pattern called double bottom so this double bottoms is one of the patterns that i'm comfortable teaching you here because i no longer teach my students double bottoms i teach them advanced kind of a trading so i have double bottom and i have the neckline and I have um, and I have the half. So when when I'm tr when I'm trading, I have all those levels. So if I get an entry, my first take profit is the half. If the half is broken, my second target is the neckline. You see why why is these two lines guiding me for the target is because of the pattern and how I have been trading it and how I have seen it is working. You see, so anytime I a pattern, let's say someone who is an ICT and they are doing order block, they will not target like me. If you're doing double bottom, that's the way you target because the strategy doesn't change for the double bottom. If you use moving average, you'll target different. Now, the exit works the same. So let's say uh, before we continue, I want to look if this is OPT. So I will come to the weekly time frame and I will see that I have no support. So that is the reason why I even be interested with that kind of a double bottom. You see, everything is okay. And that's what I'm saying. When you lack exit, sometimes when you lack exit, it's like you're saying your trade, your strategy is 100%, which is not accurate anyway. No strategy is 100%. Today, you, may, you will make money. Tomorrow, you might lose. The other day, you might learn something different. So we keep learning. So this is... Uh, a possible a double bottom so this is a double bottom and in this double bottom we have the half that is the first target and then we have the neckline as the next target you see we have the half and the neckline as the next target like that so that's what we have. Now, as we wait for the market to give us uh, the next candle, we get a bullish engulf that has already broken half. Now, what tell me what will make you not enter such a trade? This trade is OPT, number one. It has everything. So the strategy is screaming, buy, buy. So when you buy, you are buying up to the next stage, neckline, 143 pips. So you will come innocently. And you'll buy because the strategy has given you guidance of the target. So without this strategy, how would you have known the market will go to the neckline? And that's what I'm saying. Number one is the entry. The entry, we use double bottom and the bullish and gap breaking half. That is the entry. The target is the neckline. So I can say this is our entry. And then this is our target. So we are targeting the neckline. 
So we are targeting the neckline. And if we are targeting the neckline, where is our exit? For us to call this double bottom, our exit is having a red candle breaking that double bottom. So if you ever find a red candle breaking that double bottom, let's say the market reaches half and then it breaks that double bottom, is no longer a double bottom. You are supposed to stop trading it and do what? You stop trading it and you focus on something else. It is a loss, you accept and you move forward. But majority of people, they don't have exit. When they say the market will target, it will hit target neckline. That's what their mind is focused on. And it is a problem at that time. So let's see what happened. So the first day, the market started to go up well because the entry was correct. The target was correct that it repeats. The second day, the market is still going up. So from the entry, Already you have 77 pips. Because the market has not hit the target, you cannot even tell yourself to come out. Because the target, the exit has not prevailed, you cannot say yourself to close. So you will hold. As a good trader, you are guided by the entry, the target, and the exit. Majority of people here is where they close the trade. Oh, they are afraid. They are thinking the candle will close like that. So it's either the exit happens for you to come out. Now, the next candle, the market starts to come down. So majority of people will either close this trade or they, many people will do so many different things at this point. But if you master the entry, the target, the exit, you will never close by emotions. You will never do things by emotions. You will always do by the three things. So we are still waiting and the market starts to go down, go down until it breaks. One oh, to you, this is zero JPY is very volatile. From your entry, you have gone drawdown of 300 feet. 300 feet. And that's why I stopped trading patterns. Sometimes patterns, if they give you 50%, it will be accurate a halfway. Sometimes patterns don't hit the target. But if this is what you have been told, because we have seen in the previous video, we did a double bottom that hit the neckline. And that's what I'm saying. Market is not predictable. Nobody who can predict the market. You cannot say, oh, today I will predict the market. Oh, I will predict. No, you cannot say you will predict the market. You know why? Because there are some double bottoms that will hit the target. There are some we refuse and will break. Now, this trade, let's say you are risking 0 0.01. You have come out with the... A, a, a loss of thirty dollars. Let's say you had, let's say you had a a thousand dollar account, a thousand dollar account. So if you have a thousand dollars account, I want to show you how trading is effective if you have this in mind. If you had a thousand dollars account and you had, let's say someone, two people had a thousand dollars account, one had zero point zero one. And the other one had zero point. The other one had zero point one. The market had already has gone three hundred feet. So for the zero point zero one, they are negative thirty dollars. So this person is negative thirty. Negative thirty dollars. But this person of zero point one, they are negative negative $30 and this person for the 0 0.1 they are crying because they are supposed to close negative $300 so this one we remain with the balance I'm teaching you about exit sometimes exit looks bad when you're about to exit but it looks good when you exit and see the outcome so this person will we remain with how much they will remain with $970. So for them to exit won't be that a big deal. They'll say, ah, and they will not have even a uh, struggle to exit. They won't have even struggle to exit. But this other person, they have struggle to exit. Why are they having a struggle to exit? Is because they had over risk and they are seeing their balance will be $700. So they are thinking, what was I doing trading this market? So the first person, 001, they entered the trade and they are accurate with the exit. 
they will close the thirty dollars and they get the nine seventy. This one they are coming out with negative three hundred dollars, and that is seven hundred. You can imagine, guys. You can imagine. So what will happen if you take in? You see the way you just swallow. Sometimes they tell us to swallow. It was not your day. This was not your day to make money. Swallow it and come back better and greater. And maybe when you see Euro JPY, you will be not targeting 143 pips. You will be targeting 50 pips. There are always lessons to learn when you exit. But you see, majority of people don't like exiting. And when you don't like exiting, so uh, what happens? You tell yourself, I will add another trade here. They will add another position. So let's say both of them add another position because they, don't, they, are, they are struggling to close that trade. So they will add another position, hoping. Now this is how you start trading uh, hope, hope. You start hoping the market will come back to you. So they add like one position or two position hoping. And what happens after that? The market continues to sell. By the time this market is selling like this, from where they added another position, the market sold 663 pips. So even the trade they had entered, the trade they had entered is negative 663. I want to show you the real truth of how people trade. So now you are negative. You are negative um, 663. And the first trade, the first trade that you entered, now you had you have been taken on a drawdown on 959. 959. 959. Imagine, because of lack of exit, nine by nine. You see, and this one is vice versa. They will be taken 63, 66, and 95. So this one, because of lower lot size, this side will be 66, nine, nine, Ninety five, is it nine ninety five or nine fifty nine? Let's see. Was it nine sixty five? Imagine nine sixty five. But on the other side, this guy is negative 66 and negative 96. Lot size matters a lot, guys. So if you add the first trade and the second, your account is blown. Let's see if this market really went back. Did it go back? Did it go back? It went back. So if you never added this trade, because how would you add a losing trade, a trade that you're being told to come out? And that's the problem. Majority of people will add a losing trade. If you allow that market just to sell and to finish selling, it will eventually come for you. They will finish what they are doing. They will finish the selling. Once they finish, the market will eventually come for you. It may take time, but it will come for you. So in short, what I'm trying to say is that exit is very important. Imagine failure of exit costed those people how much? They would have gone with $30 and $300 and they start afresh. And maybe they would have seen the market has broken support. Let's attempt to sell and they would have recovered their money. Anyway. With that being said, exit is very important. In fact, exit is what makes majority of people lose money. Because if you can exit early, you cannot have much drawdown. 
Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.